All right, take two. Last time went great until we got to the boss fight, which point my internet just spazzed out for long enough that I didn't even get back in before it was over. All right, well, I'm not going to push the button. The other people on the team are going to push the button. Maybe. Hmm, Flare hasn't done anything. Night Watchman is thinking about it. Oh, Flare goes. Yep, the button has been pushed. Oh, uh, well, so, so much for seeing the cutscenes. Well, those guys all got machine gun to oblivion. Whee. Now to see if I can get this stupid flying disc thing to actually work. See, I don't have flight on this character, so I have to actually use the flying disc uh, device. Air. Well, these guys were quick. Now, whenever this is, uh, you see those uh, beam ins? Yeah, uh, move whenever you see that. Because you know he's going to be summoning those things. Laser drones, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, that's not so much damage until you realize how many of them there are. The, the downside to the laser drones, of course, is that uh, they don't actually track targets. Whoops. Yeah, the number one thing with the, the support drones is just move whenever they get summoned. I know, Star Trek Online doesn't do anything even remotely like that. Hey, a purple item. I got an action figure. Ooh. And a gear drop. Okay, sure. Alrighty then. Well, that was the Franklin Stone alert. Yeah, the, the, the thing here is that this guy is a um, corrupt businessman who has been using his money to fund his own private army, which was those guys in the black uniforms that we shot repeatedly. And also he has his own, you know, like personal um, war machine that, that we had to shoot down. And uh, he was framing Nighthawk for various crimes. This is one of the things we were like, okay, I understand that this is your supervillain plan, but do you really think people aren't going to figure that out? Oh, well. See you guys next time.